I uh, guess it's time that I turn over the keys to the famous Sebring. No, thank you. It's a corporate lease, Dwight. You earned it. No, thanks. What? Not my style. But you said you liked it. You've always admired it. And... But that was before. I'm thinking about getting something German, something with decent gas mileage. Plus, the convertible is a ridiculous choice for this climate. Take it back. No. That's my car. What did you That's my car! Yes. <sighs> I know, Dwight. I know, I know, I know. You know what? Jan called me about your little meeting. No. I know what you did. The I made cool. the whole thing up. It's white. The series is cool. Oh, do you? Do you like it? How dare you? How dare you, Dwight? Don't fire me. Please. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't fire you right here on the fire. I'm like, oh, my sales number. Not so good enough. I'll do anything. Anything. Please, I'll do your laundry for a month. Right here. I have a laundry machine. I'm sorry. I'll do anything. I I don't know if I can trust you. Anymore. You can't. You can't. But I promise I'll never betray you again. Uh, what can I do, Michael? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? You can get up. No. Get up. And you can hug it out, bitch. Hug it out, bitch. That is what men say to each other after a fight. They hug it out. In doing so, they just let it go. And walk away. When they're done. Not a good idea to say that to a woman, however. I have found. It doesn't translate. So I felt I needed to punish him just a little bit more. And I'm making him do my laundry for a year.